Hello guys, girls and others, and this is just a quick uh, voiceover, basically because the time I was recording until dawn last night, um, I wasn't decided on how long I was going to make each episode, but now I've decided it's just going to be slightly less, like, the footage will be, like, slightly less, talking about 15 minutes. Um, so, I've not actually, you know, recorded the whole guys, girls and others, but, um, so it's just a quick voiceover for an intro, and it'll start the video, and I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. Right guys, I have bad news. Basically, I recorded the first part of Until Dawn. Um, and yeah, basically, for whatever reason, the footage, w the footage was lost. Um, so I will, after I finish recording today, I will go back and I'll, I won't, you know, have commentary um, or anything because I've already now seen what happened. Um, but I will go back and play it so you can fill in. But basically, just fill in just now. This guy, Dr. AJ Hill, uh, is talking to me, he's basically saying like the decisions I make from now will affect how the game is played out, that kind of thing. And now he wants me to look at a picture and say how I honestly um, feel about the picture. Uh, but I will go back and record. Um, basically, there's people in this house <coughs> and like some girl Hannah is played like people play a harsh prank on her, she likes this guy Mike, they play a harsh prank on her um, and she runs away and her sister Beth follows and then they end up being chased or whatever by like this guy who they, they fall off a cliff and they like go to run away from the guy uh, that's that's my leg by the way <laughs> um, they got followed, like, get followed by this guy and he's like taking his hand out like he's gonna grab them and you had the decision to let go of Hannah, or to let go of like the bit you're holding on, and I let go of the bit you're holding on, and it looks like they fell to their death. But I will go back and record it, so this is essentially part two. So, with that being explained, let's continue. And press R2. Oh, it's, it's unsettling. It does make me feel... Not scared, but nervous. I don't like the scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. What? I feel uneasy. Yeah, I do feel uneasy at it. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? I'd say the scarecrow. Oh, the scarecrow, or I'm not sure. Definitely a scarecrow. Oh, I see. I see. Let's, let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Will you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. I mean, I wouldn't like to stay out somewhere like that not out of fear, just it's not where I would personally stay, so no I wouldn't, but that'd be, you know, on your own, at night there, without the scarecrow even, that'd be pretty scary, so no. Oh no? <coughs> Why not? Yeah, I would, be, I would be lonely, I mean it doesn't look like there'd be much signal, but I would be scared, especially at night. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? There's nothing physically in the picture. Or, I mean, the scarecrow doesn't scare me, but it makes me nervous, uh, uneasy. The barn doesn't make me scary, but it's the idea of staying there at night, the things that would go through my head, you know, so I'm not sure. That's interesting. Well, I'm a we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? The thing that's driving you fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? Not really. Next time. Hmm? His facial expressions, man, they really creep me the hell out. It's a nice room, but... It's 
Sony Computer Entertainment. <coughs> got cold. My throat's sore. Lovely song. Joe's gonna get the song plates for my wedding when I get married. <laughs> yep. I did make that joke. Until dawn. Trademark. Top right corner. He didn't penetrate it. How do you say her? Well, obviously enough, but. Like, I don't know how you say her name. Peter Stomer. Is that the Dr. AJ Hill? Because it's annoying me who he is. I've seen him before. <laughs> this intro's creepy. on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago, so tonight, never the Washington the girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. <coughs> he has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search Claire the mountain, Bennett. the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? <coughs> yeah, let's go ahead quickly. He chuckled. Oh, I must have named this all in the top left. Oops. Whew, sorry, tired today. Get off the bus, Claire Bennett. Siler is coming for you. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. So what, when it reaches dawn? 
and hell breaks loose. Oh <laughs> Really? Wow. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, and adventurous. Okay. And hot. Come. Hayden Pabababanita is really hot. I don't know how you pronounce his second name. This is creepy. Use the right stick to move the camera. Wait, is that a totem? No. Move the controller to look around. Okay, there's a note on the gate, it looks like. What does it say? Gates busted, climb over. Chris. Who's Chris? I'm sure the guy in the phone was called Josh. There's no reason to do it. Well, I mean, there is that guy behind. I'm just gonna go safe. Oh. Oh. Wow, that's quick. Uh. Oh. I mean, she has adventurous, so. Wow. Hey, quick times are really, really quick. Wow. Oh, that's a pretty high wall. Anything? Um. Aww. Wait, don't hey, move. Bella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> <Cutie>. <laughs> oh, laptop screen darkened. That's pretty cool. If you're not sure, press R1. I'll head to the cable car. Oh! Character traits in relationship status. Facebook! Where is this going to go? Oh, I don't know. I had to twitch him either. Hmm. I keep thinking they like things in the ground that are totems. I can't remember what the totem looks like. <laughs> cool. Oh wait, so this is about the totems? Death, black butterflies prophesies the dreamer's death. Red warned of dangerous events. Loss is brown. Affecting friends' guidance, offer visions to help and guide fortune, dreams of luck and good fortune. So wait. Oh. As you explore, you can discover totem. So does that mean it's yellow? I mean, like, it looks yellow, I don't know. Like, where the, the butterfly is. Gaiden, so uh, that should be yellow, right? Because that totem's yellow in colour. Right? Uh, Gaiden's yellow. Alright, okay, so it's the, the border bit. Vision for a future choice. You can press R1 to view your... Right, I've already done that. Oh, there's a few objects? Uh... Let's check the, the Chris, bag. You here? Bag's here. Are you? So that's You're Chris's bag. bag are you? Oh wait, that was someone else watching me? Unless it's Chris and Alex, the guy the machete. He's got a phone call. Uh, snip. Now close the bag.
Sam, Mickey, you made it. I got a fight there. Chris has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? Sorry for abruptly ending the video. Um, the PS counter only lasts 15 minutes maximum, so I had to um, end the video quickly, or else I would have lost upcoming footage. Um, but part three will continue on from where I left. Um, I will actually cut uh, the start of the conversation into part three so that it makes sense and it's more fluid and it's not like halfway through. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and um, please join the Magic Circle subscribers and I'll see you next time. Bye.